The main thing is eat less, more reps. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Look at the light. <laughs> Holy shit. Even the law enforcement, they're like, Ty, you gotta stop. Alright, guys, welcome back to another video. We went on the um we went on a tripod find fiasco. We couldn't find it. So I'm using like our pods. I don't know what we're using that as a tripod. Fucking getting angry, I don't like, know. I thought I had a good body. Like, I mean I guess You got a good body, yeah. I'm alright, but goddamn, that's a lot of people look at our bodies now. Like I get comments, people telling me that Ty, your body's so perfect. Jerry gets it now. You know, it looks perfect, but this shit was not easy, guys. Six? What, how long would he? Be, what was he in the gym? Two years. Two right? years. No, five three, hours a day. No, it's four years. Four years, five hours a day, every single day. Like it was the point where I was, I was benching like two twenty-five. Oh, two seventy-five. We was benching some crazy weight. It was this guy named Will and Charles. They were like. I don't know, 6'5", 2 fucking 40, big as hell. I was mentioning more than them. They were asking me for advice, like what the hell? I mean, it's just if you want it, you just gotta work hard for it, you know? Because if you gotta buy it like this, you gotta have some advice. The main thing is, eat less, more reps. Look at that, look at the light. <laughs> Holy shit, that nigga like Superman, black Superman. That is crazy, like what? Me and Jerry, we went to Equinox before, so it's another luxury gym. She was like two, like two fifty a month. Yeah. Two fifty a month. Two fifty. Is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. Nah, it wasn't worth it. Nah, it wasn't worth it. Not at all. No. Not at all. <laughs> you understand how long it took to get attractive? Holy it took shit! Years. To finally just feel good about yourself. Just at least to believe it. Stuff people be saying is like she just, you know, she just being nice. Oh, so many stories. I haven't even told people about the stories. <laughs> oh no, 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 Oh shit, a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, how many did you do? Oh God, I've been doing so many over the past couple of days. Just Holy so shit, sore. I did 50, but I'm already sore. That's not good as a grown man, I'm 22 years old. You did push-ups a month. I did 50 push-ups. My first time doing I got sore at 50. No, but no, I did do a thousand push-ups one time. That's a true story. Nobody believed me. I, I had to show my notes. Nobody believed me. That's what I said. I did a thousand push ups, a thousand squats, and a thousand sit ups. Hold on. They didn't believe me until I showed them. I showed them. <laughs> that nigga body look better than mine. <laughs> 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 that nigga body look better than mine. Let's go to the beach. No. Who all going? Uh, Frank, Bob, Jerry. Oh, Jerry? No, I can't go. I can't go. <laughs> You're not going either. But, but, Billy. Like, no, no, it's trying to think, uh, what's that game called? Uh, the Suss game? <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> Imposter! Oh, shit! That's me. Oh, shit. He's like, come on. Still need a cut, though. So bad. See, I'm pulling myself with no cut. Yeah, I'm pulling myself with no cut. Do you see this picture of me? Even the law enforcement, they're like, Ty, you gotta stop. When I was 18, 19, 20, I was in top tier shape, people. I, you know, looking back, I didn't realize like how good in shape I was. You know, people would tell me, Ty, are you on steroids? Bro, you're an inspiration. Like, what do you do? What do you eat? And at the time, you know, I just work, work you know, I would just work out and not really think about it. And bro, if I'm honest, my body, hold on, let me just, YouTube, don't, de don't demonetize, please. My man, please. You know, as you can see, you know, my body's not bad now, but it's definitely not, it's not that. Yeah, when I was 18, 19, 20, bro, I was, bro, I was so motivated, so, I was so disciplined. Bro, I was in the gym five hours a day, every, like, seven days a week, like, how did I do that? Eating a good diet, bro, like, how did I do that? Like, it's such a crazy transformation because, you know, Jerry actually cried last night, which is crazy. I, I need to talk about that, I forgot. Holy shit, Jerry fucking cry. Let me talk about that. I don't know, bro. My hair is a fucking mess. I need a haircut, bro, but my barber named Zach, 
bro, he broke his hand or he's on vacation or something. I don't know. So I can't even get a haircut. And I just look foolish. And this hat does not. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> the craziest thing happened last night. So you guys saw, you know, me and Jerry was admiring ourselves. Hey, call it what you want. You know, we was admiring ourselves. I don't care. Call us narcissists. Call us fuckboys, players. I don't care. You know, we, it took a lot to get to where we're at. You know, I just mentioned Jerry fucking cry last night. Now, it wasn't like sobbing. He was just like emotional. Like he didn't like tear, you know, he wasn't bawling his eyes out. I guess I just throw it all out there. So why am I holding back? I don't need, I don't need to hold back. Me and Jerry grew up kind of similar. So we were actually went to the same high school, same elementary. We grew up together, honestly, but we didn't really meet or like connect to each other until I think sixth grade. But we both had our problems with bullying, you know, growing up. All right, so I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna just say how I feel, what it is. But guys, this is just me expressing how it feels to finally love yourself. Because for the longest time, I got bullied for pretty much everything about myself. You know, the way I looked, the way I talked, my height, my hair, my, my teeth, my nose, my eyes, my skin color, my every single little detail not even not like not just tease or uh -huh, like for years upon years for as long as i can remember got bullied there's this one guy this is one guy i went to i guess i went to high school with him i don't even know who this guy is this is like this is how crazy it goes by they used to call me the risen roach because i was so ugly or whatever and here's this guy in my tiktok comments commenting the risen roach oh here's the roach and like to me, it doesn't get to me now because you know, guys, I've been called beautiful, attractive, handsome, sexy, everything in the book. So now I don't give a fuck. Like I love myself. I'm very confident. But this is where I came from. Like this is like where me and Jerry came from. So when I say like you know Jerry cried, it was because it was very you know we came so far. Like the shit that people said to me for the longest time, like, bro. I hated myself. I hated looking at myself. I hated that person that was in the mirror. But that was me. It was so bad. Like I, I want. I didn't want to. Like, you know, the reason I'm such a nice person is because, you know, going through bullying and experience it, I realized that it made me so like so insecure. From the ages of 12 to I would say, like 20 or 21, I was a very insecure person, very shy, very, you know, I just I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was supposed to be. And you know that made me mess up so many relationships, friendships. You know, so so much because I just I wasn't confident. I wasn't okay with me. So like I was trying so hard to fit in with that person, but when you're just trying to leech on and not be yourself, it's very easy to tell, and people don't like that, and it's repulsive. So I messed up so many friendships and relationships just because of being bullied. Any girl I would come in contact with, I would think, oh, she don't want me, even though she could be choosy. Guys, I lost. Oh my god, <laughs> I've had girls literally text me paragraphs messages you know denouncing their boyfriends and they'll break up their boyfriend for me and still through all of that i still didn't think i was good enough or i don't know i've had girls call me fuck boy a pretty boy boyfriends are jealous is cr like the craziest things have happened to me and it took like now you know finally just letting all of that shit go back from you know my hometown letting all that go and just Bro, I'm in Miami now. I'm 22. I live my own free life. Like, who can tell me, oh, the original roads? Like, the, who, who bro, you're in my car. Who are you? Like, who is that guy? I don't know. You know, but all I do know is he's watching me, and I'm living my life, and I'm happy, and I see that life is going to be okay. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be bright. Like, you know, I'm just happy that I'm still, you know, a good person because a lot of people go through bad experiences, and it alters them. You know, it changes their soul. They become evil and dark and just i'm just happy that i'm still like hopeful and happy and i'm light the stuff that i went through bro i i, I shouldn't be a good person or does it even make sense like does it matter like if you go through bad things does that give you the right to be bad i don't know like i've been through some shit like i've been homeless you know my shit got stolen people try to sue me like things that i just and I feel like I'm just nothing but a ball of hope and good. Like, if anybody asks me questions, yo, like, I'm trying to give positive energy. I'm never hating on nobody. I've, you will never catch a comment of me, you know, out there in public saying, yo, I hate you, or this is shitty, or blah, blah, I never, ever. It's always positive and just good. And I don't know why. Like, people just hate. And, like, I don't want to be one of those guys that, like, okay, guys, let me know. Like, right now, okay. 
me get close. Let me get let me get real close because I seen Pretty Boy Fredo. He went through like a scandal, um, and I don't want that to happen to me. Let me know right now if I'm just living in a delusional bubble and I'm actually a bad person, and that's why bad things keep happening because I don't. I think I'm like, you guys see me on the channel, I don't do much. The things that you see on this camera are the things that I do in real life. I have no difference. I sit in my house, I go to the beach, I relax. For good people, why does bad things just happen? I don't know. That's why I'm just going to continue to just look forward, be in my own space, you know, and just block out haters and just block out nothing that, that, that doesn't bring me any value or benefit to my life. And, you know, I'm just so happy to see Jerry happy again. You know, I've never said this on the channel or mentioned it, but Jerry was in a very low place and I couldn't do anything to help him. I remember I made a video like way back and it was a video titled, I cried for the first time in like a year or something. I don't remember, but basically I was just crying because, you know, Jerry, I forgot what happened. Something happened at work and he was just upset and he was talking about, you know, taking his own life or whatever. And, you know, in the moment I realized that I had no power. I had no means. I can't. I couldn't do anything. And Jerry was just, he was just in a low place. And I, 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 I prayed, I asked God, I asked the universe, like, what can I do to help my friend? Like, what power? Get, help me. Give me a power. Give me a sign. Give me a clue. Give me something. Because I'm watching my friend literally self-destruct, and I can't do anything. And it hurt. It, it, it broke me. Hurt me. And that's when it hit me, like, yo, I've got to make money. I gotta take my life into my own hands. But now seeing him like cry, but happy tears because he's, he loves himself, he's confident, he's happy. Like bro, he's he's out, he was out with me making like making videos. Jerry, guys, Jerry was never on the channel. He never wanted to be on the channel. He just wanted to be alone in the dark. And like, I don't know, like I'm not a therapist. I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't know what to say. Like, yo Jerry, let's just, you know, pick your head up. Like, I, I don't know, you know, I've heard that, you know, depression runs in his family. I don't know what to do, but, Seeing that he's happy now, like you know he's he, he's getting in shape, you know he has abs. You guys saw him. He look he looks like a fucking he like a fucking model. He looks goddamn exotic. He looks crazy. Um, but you know, see him happy makes me happy, and it makes me hopeful for the future. You know, my one was dead. That sucks. Matter of fact, let's let's just it one last time. I know this probably it probably makes no sense. There's probably no 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 reason, but I just want to try one last time. I just know this is not gonna work. There's no point. You know, I just. I would. I... That. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that's. that's That is upsetting, but, you know, at least. At least Jerry's happy. At least life's looking up, sorta. Uh, I think next video might be a video where we're going to the gym. I don't know. I say, I'm making a lot of videos, so we, I don't know what's happening next video, but we're going to be doing something. You know, this is, the, this is the era of just things. This is the era of things for Ty. People ask, hey, what is your channel about? Man, I'm just doing things. If anybody asks, well, what is Ty's channel about? He does things. Remember that. I'm going to put Jerry's Instagram in the bio. You know, give him a follow, you know. Let him know, hey, what Ty sent you, you know. Give him some love in the DMs. Love seeing the progress, man. You know, you're really getting in shape. Or, you know, just help him out, you know. I think that would really boost his already high, you know. So, do that. Editing Ty here. Somehow, I forgot to record an outro. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't, I've just been so busy with life and life been so crazy. It means so much. Um, as I said before, this video could potentially get a lot of hate because, you know, I'm showing off my body and, Yada, yada, yada. Guys, this has, I want to say this right now. If you made it this far, this video was not meant to, you know, hate on anybody or brag or anything. Honestly, you know, if you watch the video, you know, and, you know, you just actually listen to it. I got bullied. And, you know, that really made me break so many of my own barriers and my own things that I thought I would never achieve or accomplish. Like the things people told me, I thought I, I didn't, I thought it was impossible for me to be like, look where I'm at. Like this is me waking up on a, on a random day. Like I get to just wake up top, wait, look at this. I get to live like this. And people told me I couldn't, you know, they told me I was ugly, untalented, 
lame, dork, all type of things. And same for Jared. You know, like I said, he cried, not cried, but you know, he got emotional because it was such a ride, such a long journey to finally be okay. Like love just like for the longest we didn't love ourselves. We hated ourselves together. Like, we both didn't say it, but we both knew it. You know, we were both screaming up for help. Um, and you know, to finally, to finally wake up and be able to look in the mirror and just not be disgusted, not hate, not, not hate. It's a good feeling, man. Um, so, you know, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, a, a big a big part of me finding my confidence and me finally being okay and not, and realizing that I am valuable was because of you guys, you watching and following me and just believing in me. It helped, it helped me believe in myself. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and just, man, this feels so good. Okay, so this is the outro. I made the video. Okay, I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go subscribe. We are on the road to 10k. Fuck that. 100k. It doesn't even matter. We're just gonna go to the world. Out there. I want the world. I want you guys. I'm gonna have. And we're gonna have a great life. And it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful story. All right. Love you guys so much. Thanks for what, so much for watching. Um, yeah. Outro. Peace.